Hey everybody, Ryan Roy from Justifier Just Do It Coaching. Early this morning as I got up and uh, was checking my Facebook and getting ready for my day, I ran across something from a, a friend and, and someone who I've spent time with and someone I respect a great deal. Uh, his name is uh, Joshua Hayward. Uh, him and I met a few years back um, and he, he does a lot of amazing things on Facebook. Uh, he is also a coach and he has a lot of amazing analogies and, and I like to, uh, I'm proud to say that not only is he someone I've watched, but someone I've grown to respect and I like to call a friend. Um, so Josh has made a couple of posts over the last couple of days about getting up early in the morning and starting your day and getting the things accomplished in your day in regards to your business, your goals early on so that you can enjoy the rest of your day knowing that you've already created actionable steps and completing those actionable steps towards your long-term goals and you can go into the rest of your day saying, hey, I reward myself with the rest of my day because I've taken care of things early. So he wrote this thing and I'll just read it verbatim. Early, the early fisherman gets the fish. As I sit here by the lake in darkness just after 5 a.m., I can see the light slowly developing over the mountains. Something is happening. As I sit here and write in my journal, by candlelight and meditate and work out, there are big fish constantly jumping in the lake. Yesterday, many fishermen started their morning around 7 a.m. or later. And the biggest fish I saw anyone with was a couple inches long. These fish that keep jumping, not even 20 feet from the shore, are about 16 to 20 inches long and they're hungry. If a fisherman were to start earlier in the day, he could catch bigger fish, feed his family better, and have more time with his family. Instead of spending hours away from his family and hours working on catching a whole bunch of tiny fish, he could get started earlier and just catch big fish. Is this the same for you and your business? Do you start at the same time as everybody else does and get the same results and be in competition with all those tiny fish fishermen? Or can you get up early, take action before anybody else does, have little or no competition, catch the big fish, and dominate your market? Guys, the choice is yours. Would you rather have two or three hours extra sleep in the morning or would you rather dominate whatever it is that you do and have much more time with your family because you've already accomplished the goals before anybody went out there and caught the fish. This also leads me to something I read not too long ago and resonates so well with me because just like Josh, I'm an early morning riser. And I try to get most of my things done early in the day so that I can go about the rest of my day knowing I've already accomplished everything that I want to accomplish in regards to my goals. And it went something like this. I don't know it verbatim, but off the top of my head, it says something to the effect of your, the time you wake up is directly related to how big your goals are in your life. Now think about that. Because I get up early because I got certain things I need to get done so that I know that my day has been a success. I, I like Josh, I'm not up at 5 a.m. I am up at 5 a.m. some mornings, but most mornings, five, probably 5.30 or 6. Um, and the thing about that is, is as Josh said, he likes to meditate and there's quiet time. Nothing's going on at 5.30 and 6 in the morning. 5.30 and 6 in the morning. You have time. Phone's not ringing. Wife's not up, son's not up, um, kid's not up, nothing's up. You get to enjoy a peaceful morning watching the sunrise. I'm not a coffee person. I don't need a cup of coffee. All I really need is some peace and quiet. Get up, get my day going, start my workout, go for my run, and, and start reading, seeing how my day is going to go. Map it out if it's not already mapped out from the day before, which most times it is mapped out for the day before, but then I map it down. And I start checking things off the list. Post my YouTube video, make a YouTube video, get material for a YouTube video, you know, whatever it may be that gets my day started. Just like this morning, now I'm making the video for it. 
But think about it, if you do not have certain goals going into, you have your weekend, you have your Saturday that uh, I talked about in a previous, you know, what do you do? You get to sleep in on Saturday? So you finally get a day to yourself and you sleep in? Um, most people love sleep. They just want to sleep all day. That's not life. That's not living. If you have certain goals and you live a life of design and intent, Think about that. A life of design and intent. You designed it. You planned your life. And it has purpose, intent. If you know why you're getting up every morning and you set certain tasks or goals or things you need to accomplish in order to attain the life that you have or live it within that day, you have purpose. Then guess what? You want to get up in the morning. I have a hard time going to bed at night knowing I'm getting up first thing in the morning because I'm doing things. I'm looking forward to my next day so much. Sometimes I'm working late into the hours of the night, which brings me to another point, though. And, and Josh made a great example of this just the other day in another post in regards to getting up early. He said he used to work late at night in those quiet hours, but while he was tired and he, the day had already gone by and he'd find himself working later and later and later, you know, two, three, four in the morning. He goes, now he switched it up and he feels a lot more productive. Now he goes to bed earlier and gets up earlier. So he gets to see the sunrise and meditate and have a, a fresh body in the morning. I tend to do a little bit of both. I, I get up early and I go to bed late, which, and I will admit, um, is not always the best way to go because then you find yourself a little bit sleep deprived. But I want to get up each day. I, I have things I want to do. And because I have a plan each and every day, I'm excited going into the day knowing that it's going to bring me that much closer to my ultimate goal. And goals. It's not like I have one goal. I have many goals. But each day I work towards those goals. And because of that, I'm living my design life with intent and purpose. And you guys could too. I mean, whatever it is, if you got up a little bit earlier each day, whether it be to have a healthier lifestyle, to work out, whether it be to plan your day so that it goes more efficiently so that you can say, wow, I had a great, amazing, accomplishing day towards whatever it is that you want to do. But if you just go through life, waking up whenever the alarm clock gets off because somebody else tells you you got to be somewhere, and whenever you have those free moments, you don't take advantage of them, um, because you haven't planned anything out, then life is just slipping by you. Uh, and I'll give you an analogy of this because I, I think this could relate to everybody. When you have about a, a two-week vacation coming up and you have to pack and you have a million things to do and you know that if you don't get packed first thing in the morning, you're not going to catch your plane. So you're up early in the morning. You're getting everything ready. And I, like myself, I love to come back to a super clean house. So like couple days before I'm making sure everything all the laundry's done all the you know the, the house is vacuumed everything's dusted everything's because when I come back from my vacation the very last thing I want to do is walk into a house that's not sparkling clean I, I want everything to be perfect so for me everything gets done and you're excited because you're going on vacation you're gonna have an amazing time well if you actually plan out your life that's how every day end up and ends up being you're excited because I know I got to go for a run. Hey, I know I, I just finished my website and I got a few things I need to do for my web designer. And I got to get that done today. And hey, you know what? I got, I, I got I, you know, there's just so many. I got to go for my run because I'm going to do my marathon in a couple months and, 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 and my health is working out. And you know what? My wife and I are planning a, a long weekend this weekend and uh, we have to make certain plans in regards to that. So I got to make sure that, you know, we follow up on that. But everything has already been planned. Now I just need to implement the action steps or tasks get completed so that the things that we planned actually come to fruition. But it all starts with getting up a little bit earlier and taking those steps early in the day and planning out that day and executing that day to its fullest. So Josh, I want to thank you for uh, your amazing insight this morning uh, to help me Hopefully help some of you. Uh, everybody, you have an amazing day. I challenge you to get up a little bit earlier, even if it's 15 minutes earlier. So you have 15 minutes of time 
to just ease into your day instead of hopping up and rushing like you do most days. Um, that's my challenge to every single one of you. I am Ryan from Justifier Just Do It Coaching. Everybody, you have an amazing day.